Today I'm going to be talking about photosynthesis. Um, the point of photosynthesis, photosynthesis is for uh, plant cells to get food and energy so um, it can function. Okay, so we have our little electron. His name's going to be Eddie. Like E, electron, Eddie. Yeah. Um, okay, so Eddie lives in the granum, which is a stack of thylakoids in the helical membrane. And Eddie's really lazy. And he spends all of his time in the PS2, which is a pho photosystem 2. Um, so he is really lazy until he sees light, um, like a sunbeam comes down and hits him. And so then he gets really energized and he starts jumping up and down. And um, you have water, which is H2O, uh, in the membrane. Um, already because it's a plant cell and plants have water in them and so as he's jumping up and down in the as Eddie's jumping up and down in the PS2 he starts breaking up the water molecules so he has hydrogen and oxygen so he has one hydrogen and two oxygen so the hydrogen is just just stays in the thyl thylakoid membrane and um, the two oxygens are transported out as O2 so oxygen um, so, um, yeah, so like that process using light to break something up is called photolysis. And, um, so yeah, Eddie goes to a concert, and the way he gets there is by crowd surfing, and it's called ETC, which is electron transport chain. Um, so after he's at the concert, he goes to the dance floor or the pro proton pump, and he looks for protons to hook up with. So he hooks up with one proton, and then he goes down the proton pump, and then he ditches them, and then he goes back up to look for another proton, and then he goes down the proton pump, and dances them, dances with them all the way down the proton pump, and then ditches them. This happens over and over and over again. Um, so. Um, after that, he's kind of like died down his energy, so he goes to the snack shack or the PS1 um, to get recharged with food and stuff, food like light. <laughs> and then he go, he calls a cab, which is NADP. But when Eddie gets into the cab, it becomes NADPH. So then the cab dies off. So the hydrogen. Um, hydrogens are protons that get ditched from Eddie at the proton pump, um, go to the ATP synthase to get out of the cell, and so the, uh, it's like a revolving door type process, so, um, like, that process att attracts ADP, um, and so the spinning of it attracts it, and because there's, um, so much, like, attraction, um, it gets another uh, phosphate, um, so that's how ADP turns into ATP, because the D in ADP is uh, di, and then, like, as in two, um, and then the T in um, ATP is tri, so um, it's triphosphate and diphosphate, so two phosphates is ADP, and then triphosphate and so is ATP, so another phosphate makes ADP into ATP. Um, okay, so like after that, um, Eddie leaves the thylakoid membrane and goes into the stroma, which is like the stuff around the thylakoids and stuff, and he's still energized. So he goes to an amusement park. This is actually called the Calvin cycle. The process that I just described was a light dependent cycle, light dependent reacting thing. Yeah. Um, so he goes to the amusement park and he goes to the merry go round. And um, like there's six seats in the merry go round and there's already five seats taken up. So he needs another carbon. Um, and so he takes one of the carbons that are, is like in the CO2 and stuff. No, actually, yeah. He takes a carbon. And he attaches onto it. And so then after that, like as it goes around, it's breaking up the CO2. 
um, and so that means the C like stays the same, and the O2 is off and produces more oxygen. So, so yeah, Eddie attaches on to the carbon after he breaks it up, and it goes in like a cycle because it's a Calvin cycle, so it goes like in a merry-go-round Ferris wheel type thing. Um, and as it goes around, because it's C6, because there's six carbon molecules, um, it attaches into two C3s. One of the C3s is attached out, it's like it's processed out, and then one stays. Um, so one jumps off of the ride and the other stays on the ride. Um, so like the C3 that stays on uh, keeps moving. And another comes, another carbon comes on when, because only three C's are taken, so another carbon comes on and it becomes C4. And then it continues again, and then it becomes C5 um, as it, like, goes on, like, to little stations. And then as it gets, and then that's, like, the first part of the ride, that's one ride around. And then to get, because glucose is C6, it has to go around again to get another C3 molecule out of the C3. C6, because the first C6 that we talked about, that like there's six seats, that's not the C6 that we use to make glucose. So it's the two C3s that are pro produced out as it's going around. So the two, the two C3s um, go to the cell and it makes glucose. And glucose is, is sugar, so it's used as energy. Um, and that's the Calvin cycle. So, yeah. Thank you. Bye.